What's up YouTube? Today we are looking at a inexpensive sap slash blackjack. More, it's a sap, it's not a blackjack. But a uh, impact weapon, I should say. This is from Murph's Custom Leather. That's all of his info right there. So I'm gonna put it down below. It, it, yeah, I'll put, I'll put all the info down below, but you can always stop it. So, you know, the video and then get it that way. So this is a, I believe a $30 piece of equipment. 30, 35, you know, I think it was 30. I honestly think it was 30. All right, hang on, we got a, all right. So this is 8.8 .8 ounces, 8.9 ish. And here's a bigger version of the same pattern. So this is like 12, 12 and a half. Whoa. So this is the ones from Murph's. We're gonna put this right here to remind everybody at all times. I'm just taking a couple of measurements, nine and three quarter length on that one. This is a solid 10 and you've got the loop on the back. The other one has a lanyard. Um, let me grab this. All right. So now we've got this on zero. This is zeroed out. So this is 0.8 inches. We're gonna 21, I would say 22 maybe-ish millimeters. And this is 16 almost on the dot as far as thickness. Now width of the head, we're not gonna do just the load itself. We're gonna do the head because obviously that makes way more sense. That's 65 millimeters, which is two and a half, 2.5.6 inches. And then this one is 61 inches, which is 2.4. So while they are somewhat similar in length, this is obviously the bigger one. From Asheville Leather Craft. This has been on the channel. If you see something on a, in a video, chances are high it's been in the channel or on the channel already. This is, was 75, now 85. It honestly feels like pretty good in hand for how big it is. This one feels similarly, like it doesn't feel like it, it's a leather club, which essentially it is. It, it feels like pretty light. And this being lighter won't cause it to print less. This was, like I said, 75 to me and then this the time it was, and then this is uh, thirty ish. Is it worth the thirty some odd bucks? Yes, this is punching way above its weight class. Um, September buck of the month is here. I just got the email. I guess I'll have to go check it out after this. They even does lately, but anyway, these are both reasonably priced, and I think that they. For the price point, they're perfect. I don't expect perfection from, you know, reasonably priced things. Uh, and I think that this will be pretty innocuous in pocket. Um, this one is a little bit less so because it's the hard, 
it's not the matte finish, so to speak. This is like the hard gloss style finish that like a cop would have. Even though some of the paint's coming off a little, that doesn't, if I really cared about that, I would take a Sharpie and just mark it over. Um, I don't, it's fine. And then this one, it's gonna fit a lot easier. I mean, these it seems like being a size smaller, it wouldn't matter that much. Here, you can really see the difference, but it's gonna matter. And I could have gotten this like that. Uh, I just don't really like them like that. Um, I, I don't think that that's, it doesn't matter. But what my ideas about how saps are used are kind of irrelevant. We're looking at these guys and uh, Yes, I mean, I th do I think you should get one of, one of these? Yeah, I mean, this is one is, this would be a good starter sap. And it looks nice and unassuming. You know, if you had to hurt somebody with this or defend yourself and you showed up to court and they're legal where you're at, uh, you would probably be in good shape just because this doesn't look crazy. I think you'd be in good shape with this as well, though. But the smaller thing, it, it's going to lend itself, if, you know, if you've carried anything, be it knives, this is primarily a knife channel, to gear, you know, the smaller things are easier to carry. You're going to carry them more. Um, and I like this. This is unsprung, obviously. I didn't give Rick a saying that. These are both unsprung, meaning there's no piece of metal in here, be it rigid or literally a spring. Um, these are just leather. And I am actually, you know, I think that the sprung pieces have their place, especially the blackjacks that are sprung or like have a cable. Um, but I'm, as far as this style, I'm really liking this versus my uh, Boston leather Texas sap that's giant and sprung with hard metal. And then has a little tiny impact point that's not even really that useful. Unless you're like literally trying to swat away the crackheads like they're flies uh because it's not gonna be this i mean if i hit somebody with this in the head there's not dead space you know what i mean whereas with my the texas sap the striking head the load is much smaller than the the sort than the face of it right you know what i mean and so there's like dead space where i could hit you and it wouldn't really hurt I don't like the idea of that because if I land a headshot on you with one of these kind of weapons, I need it to actually be effective. That means you need to have a broad load. That's what she said, right? But that's why I measured the the, the total um, but at any event I'll have this dude's info down below or you can just stop it. That's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a good rest of your day. Bye now.